So, you know that, that thing called the ban list? I, I wanted to answer a couple of questions, give some opinions, because it's always, it's always fun to do a ban list discussion. And I want to talk about why, why a few things are still kind of banned. So, kick back, listen to the subtle voice of a fat man who just woke up and is already having an interesting morning. So, of course... What's up, guys? It's the sensational sound clip voices of the fat man himself. Here to soothe you through your morning, afternoon, and or night to make you fall asleep. Because that's just what happens. So anyway, I wanted to talk about... First, I want to talk about Shrit, honestly. Uh, Shrit is the very beautiful Necroz monster that says, Haha, I act as full tribute, blah, 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 blah. And you can search for X ritual monster you know, when you use him. But here's the thing. He's banned. But why? I don't know if there was some sort of bias towards Necroz or whatnot, but honestly, the problem that honestly kind of comboed with Shrit was Dijin, and directly there's no correlation between the two. It's just unfortunately, you know, Dijin with the special summoning lock and all the bullshit that the TCG went through got Dijin banned. And unfortunately, Shrit went along with it. Now, I don't know if Konami's just immediately like, well, fuck diddly yuck, like, we, we don't need this shit to happen again, you know, the gentlemen's agreements and the shit like that that went through during Necroz format. Ugh, such a bad time. But inherently, Shrit doesn't do anything other than self replace itself. Uh, with current limitations on Necroz, I don't see any reason why it should still be banned. I think giving the deck that consistent one of search is fine, as long as the current numbers remain in check for the deck. And it's it's interesting because you would think a card like Shrit, who's just a Rota search that is at one, or you know if you bring it back, should be at one, um, unless they're really worried about the Cyber Angel engine being played with Necroz. And if you guys don't know, the OCG has been dabbling with the Necroz Cyber Angel deck. Oh, the deck's not even really good, it's just, you know, with Bryonic and Ben 10, you can search for whatever fairy that you need. Kind of just sets up some creative little combos and things like that. But at the end of the day, I don't see any reason whatsoever that Shrit deserves to remain on the ban list. It just, it doesn't make sense to me as a player who who's played as long as I have. It's just... Give it back, let people play Necroz. You know, I like sure you designed Necroz to be a floodgate based deck, you know, Colossalus and Unicorn are very good examples of, you know, just degenerate hating on the extra deck. And in the current day and age, you know, we're trying to push Link Monsters, but by by giving back Shred, it shouldn't make that much of a difference, I would think. Please, in the comment section, notify me how terribly wrong I am that bringing Shred back to one would be a terrible idea. Now the next one, I, I, this is the point of the video where I get to talk about Stratos, and oh, I can't wait for this. Stratos is the hero that everybody misses. You guys, you guys know your memes, you guys know everything else about him, how he's so great and everything, and that he makes hero stun just all the better. Well, you also have to remember, I think the way that Konami looks at Stratos in the, in the morning and goes... Sorry, bud. You're not coming back today. It's the same way that you you would look at eh, a relationship. It's both good and it can be toxic. Somebody's like, oh my god, Robbie actually just compared Stratos to a relationship. Yeah. So, Stratos is a fantastic support card for heroes. Oh my god. Excellent. One of the best to ever exist. But on the flip side, he does bring FTKs to the game. And I know. I know. These FTKs, they're stupid, they're ridiculous, nobody really cares about them, probably people won't dick around with them, but because they purely exist, unfortunately, Stratos gets the slap on the wrist. I know, it sucks, I, I wish it wasn't the case, I'll be honest with you, I would love to have Stratman back, but at the end of the day, the pure existence of these degenerate combos put Stratos at a, a risk 
Arena that he can't come back. I, I really wish that to be the case. I would love to have Stratos back. But in, in, in terms of why certain cards are still banned, unfortunately, at the end of the day, it's because of these FTKs that exist, the potential for them to be there, um, that prevents Stratos from returning to the game. But OCG's got two Stratos, but they got 9,000 other problems. <laughs> uh, it's so beautiful how much shit they got wrong in their game. <laughs> we'll start with Triple Max C over there. That'll, that'll show them, right? That's how you build a, a safe, diverse, well thought out format is Triple Max C. Am I right? Ah, uh, yes. My boy Max C. I love talking about you. Hey, you guys remember when you uh, said that Maxi was an essential staple to the current format and that Konami would never ban it? And that uh, Robbie was full of shit because he didn't know how to play the game? Yeah, I remember those days. Look who was right. So, Maxi is still not coming back. Ever since Maxi has been gone out of the TCG, that's right. We've had one of the best formats we've ever had. I know people are still going to complain about the format no matter what happens. I still do it. You still do it. Your mom still does it when she's moaning my name. It's besides the point. But at the end of the day, you you have a card that his pure existence countered the mentalities and the way that people thought. <laughs> Literally the way that they played the game. And, well, just because it existed at 1 doesn't mean that it didn't show up. You know, the percent that it showed up to degenerate the game, it was very well noted, and it it fucked a lot of things up. But when you remove a one of from the equation, things change. Like I said, you no longer have that one percent interaction that it'll show up and it'll ruin fucking games. I mean, unlike Maxi, who had the Tockenburg effect going for it, you know, it, it definitely it was very real and it was very powerful. And for those of you that still think that Maxi could come back in the future. The only real time that we're going to miss Max C is going to be in those potential instances where we're in such a degenerate format that hand trap like Max C might, you know, potentially change that. But the way that Konami is working on their current list, they're definitely trying to prevent these outbursts and these potential things from happening again. And I respect that. You know, with the way that things are going as of late in the TCG. Um there might be a, a one or two more times where we'll miss Maxi in the next couple of years as a potential to, to outbalance a massive special summon mechanic, but they've done a very good job of balancing out the rest of the game, so I don't think we have to really rely on Maxi, but for the most part, where you can kind of play anything and just kind of not care, I mean, it really hasn't been that much of an issue, I would think. Other degenerate things have happened, uh, and for, for the sake of the dialogue, you know, it's not that great. And the last thing I wanted to talk about in this video, Reno, you guys remember, you guys remember Mr. Zodiac Dryden? You know, why is, why is Dryden banned? This, I understand Broad Bull. I understand a one card monster that allows me to detach material and search for any beast warrior. I understand that that's incredibly broken and almost imbalanced to a certain degree, but literally Dryden at one doesn't really do anything you've got things like masterpiece running around in today's current day and age and I don't I don't understand at at what point are you just like hmm 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 you know there are way more degenerate things once again there are other degenerate things existing that certain things can come back like I don't see an issue with Shrek coming back. I don't see an issue with Dryden still being locked up in a cage somewhere. Broad Bull, on one hand, is another story because I can only imagine the things that we could do with Broad Bull, but having a one a one card engage on the opponent's turn, it's fine. It's no different than your opponent having a hand trap, I feel like. You know, it's it doesn't create a downward spiral or scenario that you shouldn't already be able to play out of. But in maybe a scenario where you're getting into a top decking war, it might be fine, but if your opponent's making a dry at the beginning of the game, it's not really doing much per se, in my opinion. But, you know, two of these cards have something massively in common. They can't come back. And the other two cards, well, 
well, you can argue Stratos can go on the fence, but I don't see Mexi coming back in Schritt and Dryden. I don't see any issue as to why they're still locked up in the Banless Palace. You know, it just, it kind of just doesn't make sense to me as a player. I would love for these cards to make some sort of return to the game. Uh, it's just Konami probably won't do it because, well, you know, they're winky face and bunny ears. They're banned cards. They, they're very degenerate and they're very bad and gay. But at the end of the day, with the way that the game is going, more cards off the ban list, that's fine. It's just a larger card pool that we all have that we can kind of mess around with, which would be nice. But what do you guys think? Please. Roast Reno me in my comment section already. And, uh, well, that's all I got, guys. I'm out.